Shemmer. Did you need something? As a new dream dawned for the adventuring trio, they returned to the depths of the formerly sunken city. Where fortune was found behind every crumbling wall as a bulging keg bursts with free-flowing ale. That is, we broke our way into more of the ruins below, and in one of them, the wordsmith beheld a glimmering gizmo, a wonder among a sea of wonders. Alas, the gizmo lay beyond his grasp. You saw some kind of gizmo but couldn't get it? A door bars the way, locked by some confounded means. Moreland contemplated explosives, but Abaddon thought the odds of crushing the gizmo under rubble were too high. For once, the shard counter skepticism might be warranted. The old wordsmith's hopes were dashed, until a friend with a knack for performing the impossible returned from beyond the sands. Might I persuade you to venture beneath the desert once more? I'll see what I can do. Where is this place? Once you're down there, take a ride at the statue of the giant man. The ruin rests beside a metal tower. And so our heroine went forth, and the wordsmith's hopes went with her. These holothees are giving me goosebumps all over. You're in the market for salvage contracts. Laren might be your man. There's no stemmers after, should be inside. Oh, time to fight! Now, where's that gizmo? There. That must be the gizmo. Looks like this door needs a coat to open. I should check around the ruin, see if I can find... Got it. Time to head back up to Stemmer. Maybe we can figure out how to make this thing work. Hmm. I don't think there's another way into the ruin out here. Maybe there's something I missed back inside.
The Nora returned, but did she bring tidings of triumph or misfortune? I got the gizmo, and it's not the only one I found. Here. The old wordsmith, a keen spark in his eye and gratitude in his heart, held aloft the gizmo that had eluded him. It's called an ornament, actually. Part of a set. Huh. You know, some delvers tapped a ruin north of here recently and said they saw a trinket like this one. Beyond their reach. Might have been another one of these ornaments. That's worth looking into. And so the mystery of the ornament deepened. For what purpose were these trinkets designed? Something called the Knights of Light's Holiday Promotion. It's a way the old ones celebrated special occasions, I think. Like feasts? Kind of. I think a holiday marked a seasonal event. And so does every feast in the claim. There's the Feast of the First Keg, the Feast of Fermentation, the All Hops Feast. All about ale, huh? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Anyway, these ornaments could supposedly change the lights above ground, but I'm not sure how. Hmm. I recognize this marking. Saw the same on a little device we unearthed. Here. I might be able to turn on the lights. Time to find out. Which one should I try first? Let's see this one. You got it. 